more cancer mortality associated with poultry exposure. What about non-cancer mortality? The root cause of many chronic diseases in humans is, after all, still unknown. Uh, chickens and turkeys destined for human consumption and their products are infected with a plethora of transmissible agents that cause a variety of diseases in the animals, including cancer, a disease of the nervous system, cardiovascular diseases, kidney diseases, etc. That's in the animals, but they are a potential source of infection for humans. Humans can be infected by direct contact with the live or killed birds, their blood and secretions, right, the so-called you know, chicken juice in the, in the package of raw meat, uh, consumption of raw or inadequately cooked poultry meat or other products such as eggs and vaccination. We already have serologic evidence, uh, testing for antibodies, that humans are commonly infected with chicken viruses, uh, avian leukosis sarcoma viruses, reticuloendotheliosis viruses, and Marek's disease virus, uh, that cause a wide variety of cancer, neurologic, and other diseases in chickens and turkeys. The question therefore arises as to whether these agents also cause similar diseases in humans, especially those human diseases whose cause is currently undetermined. They figured, look, if it's going to affect anyone, it would be the poultry workers first. And indeed, they found that compared to the control group, an excess of deaths was observed for disorders of the thyroid gland, senile and presenile psychotic conditions like schizophrenia, anterior horn cell disease, which is a degenerative uh, spinal cord uh, condition, uh, myasthenia gravis, an autoimmune nerve disease, uh, hypertension, heart disease, disease of the esophagus, peritonitis, which is inflammation of the abdominal lining, and uh, other diseases of the kidney. They conclude that this apparent excess occurrence of disease affecting several organs and systems is probably originating from widespread infection with a variety of microorganisms. So this notion that the present findings may perhaps be providing the first clues that cases of some of the neurologic diseases that occur in the general human population may owe their origin to the presence of transmissible agents present in animals and animal products used for food, such as poultry, is plausible.